Make sure to be a member on the channel, link is in the description. Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video, kind of a quick one. Uh, but let's thank our members first, Astropub, Patrick, Vronovsky, Silami, Vivi and Lafouche, thank you, it helps a lot. Make sure to be a member if you want to help the channel, make sure to subscribe, it helps a lot. Sorry about my voice because I think I have COVID again, I don't know, it's kind of weird. But anyway, um, so today we're going to talk a little bit about a battle pass. Uh, so uh, I'm going to make videos on the new aircraft, obviously the channel is focused on aircraft normally. So I'm going to make a video on the BV-155 coming soon, I think tomorrow maybe. Uh, so yeah, make sure to subscribe to check that. But today we're going to make kind of a make a guide on how to do the challenges. Obviously for you to get everything like this, um, you need to do the challenges, which is right here. So once you go into Battle Pass, uh, you will see all the prizes here and stuff, obviously the free ones. And you can buy the, the normal battle pass so that you can get everything. And if you get to level uh, 125, for example, you can sell both of the vehicles, uh, the, v the aircraft and the tank. <coughs> and uh, you can also use to get the, the other battle pass. So it is worth it, I think, uh, if you play a lot, obviously. If you don't play a lot, uh, maybe not too much. But you have many prizes that are worth it, like many boosters. Um, uh, money, especially you get a lot, you ended up getting a lot of money, uh, and the vehicles, so uh, some interesting vehicles and stuff like that. Everybody knows what a battle pass is. Um, to be honest, this one is not the greatest of all, you know. Uh, even though this is a very interesting tank, I mean it's just an IS-2 with a, a hundred millimeter cannon, you know, so it doesn't change much, but it has a very good ammo and very good penetration for this BR. Uh, the aircraft is not the most amazing as well, but it is a interesting design and it was player made if I'm not mistaken, so yeah, very very cool. 3.7, very low BR, uh, kind of an early war I think, um, interceptor, so pretty good. Uh, has the Daimler Benz engine, so very strong, 1800, 800 horsepower, very fast and we're going to test it out on the proper video. So to get everything like this and I would advise you guys if you play uh, a lot to get it because for example uh, at the battle pass at the start of the year that we got like very basic aircraft and tanks um, I ended up getting almost $50 uh, in the market for that and I sold it right away you can hold it to to get value eventually and sold uh, they sell them uh, an year from now and get even more Gaijin coins. So it is a way that you can always get a, a revenue of Gaijin, you know, uh, coins to buy stuff. Obviously, you need to, for selling um, the, the tank and the aircraft, you need to uh, get 2,000 Golden Eagles. So you have that, for example. But I got like $45 in that battle pass selling right away, you know and it would cost you 12 13 dollars to actually get a battle pass so you get a 32 33 dollars uh, of profit okay so it is very worth it um the challenges uh, so always we have a lot of challenges we have two types of challenges the normal ones that are uh, released um by date as you see august 3rd august 10th uh august 17th uh, 24 31 september and even October and the three the last three ones that are uh, released uh, when you get these battle pass levels so once you get to 21 for example level 21 you will get the combat test uh, challenge and once you get to 40 60 you ended up getting more stuff so we're going to talk about all the challenges and how to do them a little bit of the tips on some of them so yeah uh the first one that we got get uh it's obviously the normally it's one of the easiest one so uh test firing obviously just kill 125 players vehicles my i mean just play the game you know uh, but be careful with the end date as you see here always have an end date as you see so uh, try to do this as soon as possible if you are playing a lot the game you can play in all the modes as you see but just destroy 125 players very easily 
uh, done. So yeah, pretty cool. Uh, factory competition, play seven missions while being ranked first in the team. So this is not the most, it's not the hardest thing ever to do. Uh, but my my um, idea on this would be just to play something that you really like to play. For example, me, I like to play uh, top tier jets in RRB, for example. So uh, obviously sim simulator battles are not counted for this, but um, yeah, normally I like to play MiG-23s, F-14s, stuff like that. So normally if I just play the game, eventually I will get seven missions with first in the team. So get a mode that you are very good at it, maybe a, a lower BR, you know. Uh, but remember, you have to have rank three or above for all of these. So yeah, in these modes. So get just a, a very good uh, aircraft, a very good tank that you're good at, uh, or even naval, and just play the game also. These are the, the easiest ones to do. Um, third one, movement test, destroy seven players using vehicles, using each type of ground vehicle, tank, tank, destroyer, SPA achievements, so uh, you get to destroy seven tanks, um, or seven vehicles, uh, ground vehicle, I mean, uh, just player vehicles, so destroy seven vehicles with each type of these, so very easy as well, as you see, uh, tank destroyer, tank and SPA, just play with these, Try to focus, spawn in first in a tank, kill the seven, uh, then spawn in first in a tank destroyer, and then the SPAA, and just keep spawning and getting the kills. Very easy to do as well. Uh, optics calibration, obtain battle tight without a miss 15 times. So uh, it doesn't change, uh, it doesn't uh, show what you have to actually do in here. Uh, just between the uh, between the battle miss, you know, sometimes it, it explains in here, but it doesn't. So uh, let's try to find it. So when once you get uh, this type of um, that doesn't explain much what you have to do, just go into the wiki of the game, as you see, and search for awards, and you will be able to find it. So uh, let's um, find it without a miss there there without a miss reward for destroying your enemy vehicle without a miss destroy three enemy players without missing um, with primary secondary or tertiary armaments um, dictionary awards each supercent enemies destroy without missing so you just have to not miss a target you know destroy three three targets and you get one uh, so probably better to be done in our AB you know uh, because then even though you don't get a, a one shot kill you will be able to actually just hit the target normally I would use a uh, top tier just because you have or some kind of high tier that has APFSDS just because it's a little bit easier to actually hit those uh, but you can do this in lower tiers as well can be very easy but just rem remember 15 times killing three people at least uh, with not missing a shot. Uh, if you kill the fourth one, you'll get one more. So fifth one, if I get five kills without missing a shot, I will get uh, three rewards, uh, awards actually. So yeah, pretty easy to do, but kind of have to think a little bit and try to do it. You know, some of these you just have to just play the game. Some of them you have to actually try to do something. Fire in motion, destroy 30 players' vehicles using a ground vehicle at a speed of at least four, uh, 40 km per hour. Uh, this is, I mean, to be honest, uh, the best way to actually do this is actually get wheel vehicles um, on high tiers, you know. For example, China has the um, ZT, ZLT, for example, or something like this that has, I think this has a, an stabilizer, but if it doesn't, yeah, stabilizer. So vehicles that has uh, they are wheeled, which will make you a little bit easier to get to that speed of 40 kilometers per hour. Uh, there are some things don't, that don't even get to that speed. So uh, and you have a stabilizer. So try to focus on that and just play the game. As I said, um, vehicles that are fast and vehicles that are we don't have many of those in in the Soviet Union, but uh, for example, I mean, you can do that with the M18, for example, and stuff, but it doesn't have a, a stabilizer. So I would just try to use fast vehicles. Um, I mean, they're not 
too many of those uh, type 16 vehicles like this you know uh, you can even get uh, the uh, like miss uh, like I don't know, Roy Cut, yeah, I was trying to find it. So, yeah, vehicles like this, okay, wheeled vehicles, very fast, and we, uh, with a stabilizer, this should be very, very easy, actually. So, yeah, uh, let's get back to it. Uh, so, yeah, 40 kilometers, 30 kills, not that easy, but uh, can be a pain in the ass depending on what you have. Uh, it will be a little bit easier on arcade to get to that speed and hit the target. So, as always, try to fly or uh, play in ground A, B. It's a lot, of, a lot easier. Uh, win 50 mi operation time to failure. Win 50 missions wise while destroying at least three enemy vehicles in each battle. So this is just a normal one. Uh, normally you get more than three kills uh, in a good match that you have. The, doesn't matter if it's uh, A, B or R, B, ground or air. But still, uh, A, B will be a, a lot easier to do it. And especially air AB, I think, uh, because it's just a, a for a massive performable, and it's just easy to get a three kills. Uh, but just normal win a battle, three kills, very easy. Bomb bombing for accuracy, destroy five players using an aerial bomb with a weight less than 120 kilograms. So this would be a little bit harder to do. Uh, normally because especially you have to get the points first and then spawn with an aircraft and have uh, uh, less than 120 uh, kilograms of bomb uh, I mean I would advise you guys to use low tiers uh, so you have like for example uh, let me see rank 3 of course uh, you have aircraft to like the let's see maybe the IL-2 or something like that you know you have a lot of bombs uh, let me know in the comments if you if you want to use other bombs uh, and if you want uh, if you know of a, a very easy gap that you can actually do this but just some attacker you know in general uh, there are a lot of them and low tiers will be a little bit easier because there's no AA systems or anything like that. And especially because in high tiers you have much larger bombs. Uh, as you see, for example, uh, in, even though you can use uh, the Fab 500, uh, the 100, I mean. I mean, 22 Fab 100s and you can get kills, but with the AAs and stuff like that, yeah, it's just something that you have to consider it's just easier i think in low lower tiers just remember it has to be higher than tier three okay um so this is it uh just five kills so very very easy to do uh, and yeah you can kill people with an array a, a aerial bomb just in in air, in air battles but i mean it's just a little bit more complicated in ground battles will be a little bit easier even though it's kind of bugged here it doesn't say that you can use a b but you can use uh i think you uh maybe not because of the aircraft there i don't know but still uh it's very easy to do just you have to try a little bit experimental samples receive twenty thousand mission points in battles where vehicles from current battle pass seasons were used so you have to just play with one of the aircraft or tank or the boat of the battle pass get 20,000 mission points which is the inside the game score you know uh, and then you will just play the game with it and you will eventually get uh, 20,000 uh, battle uh, points you know uh, explosive impact assessment to destroy 10 players using a tank offensive armament with a caliber of at least 150 millimeters so this is very easy again just try to use a very large gun uh, obviously i have to say about the let me see if the you can use it uh the kv2 is rank 2 so it doesn't uh, yeah it's not so you just have to find a tank that is 150 millimeters um there is uh, the SU-100, no it's 130, I mean you can use the Avri, as you see, but there is a not, lot of, not a lot of tanks that can have 150 millimeters of, of a tank round, you know, of caliber. I mean, uh, to be honest, I think 
The easier one is is to use the uh, SU 152, obviously, but um, it is rank three. But there's not a lot of things to have that actually. It's kind of aimed uh, as that. I mean, you have some of them. You have like the Type 75, for example. You have the SU 152, but to be honest, there's not a lot beyond that. Uh, so it's kind of a hard one to actually do. You have to have the vehicle. So think about that. Obviously, it's not marked yet. Uh, but these derp, the gu these derp guns, there's a lot, not a lot of of, of uh, vehicles that has that. So uh, just remember that you have to have these very select vehicles. So you have until September 21 to actually unlock it. So basically almost a month. So yeah, uh, naval firing, uh, deal 30,000 damage on ships using coastal vessels, just plenty of ways to do that. Just play with the coastal vessels above rank 3 and 30,000 damage across many battles, very easy. Uh, rate of fire standard, destroy two players vehicles in 15 seconds, 10 times. So this is not the most difficult thing ever. Uh, I would use a ground RB with a very easy tank that you like you know anything can be used uh, and you just you just be able to kill uh, two players very fast 10 times very easy to do not a lot to talk about combat test destroy three players vehicles without losing your own while using a fighter 10 times so destroy three players without using your fighter 10 times um, using a fighter well that's a problem because it is um, ground RB or ground AB, which is a problem. It's a little bit harder. But, uh, I mean, to be honest, I would use something with smart weapons, uh, like the A4 onwards, uh, maybe the MiG-27, something like that. Uh, you will up, end up getting three kills most of the battles uh, with the smart weapons, very easy. Or you can try to go very low tier, like tier 3, of, of course, with a large bomb and just try to get three tanks. Um, the Arado is a, another good one that you can use. The um, Maybe the ILA 28 with uh, four, uh, th uh, 500 kilos, something like that would be all right as well. But I would use the MiG-27, in my opinion, just because, you know, it's a MiG-27. You have, you have to, you mean you have smart weapons. Uh, so yeah, um, destroy ballistic calculations, destroy three players' vehicles, each of the players using unguided rockets or very messes. So you have uh, to destroy three players with each of these type of rockets. So just use various types of rockets. For example, uh, light rockets, less than five kilos. You can use the the normal. Uh, let me check if the S8 has that. Jesus, 69 kilograms. That's a lot. Uh, where is the S? Oh, this is. Yeah, I mean, I would use the S5, as you see. A very common rocket. Uh, and just in. Obviously, in air RB. Uh, thing, uh, ground RB, I mean. So, yeah. Uh, the, the light rockets, I will use the S5s. Medium rockets can be. I just I'm just saying about the the high tier stuff because it's a lot easier, uh, and you can even even use uh, some low tier stuff like 9.3, uh, very easy to use. Uh, there's still a lot of, obviously a lot of uh, AA systems, but you can use something like the SU-7, uh, that can have a lot of rockets and have the ballistic com computer, which helps a lot. Uh, with medium rockets, I would use the, let's see, it's between 5 and 40. So I would probably use the S8. So this is the S8, as, as you see, um, 11 kilos, one of the best rockets. As you see, yeah, many aircraft use them, um, like the MiG-27. Uh, maybe some helicopters you can uh, spawn in very early in the match with helicopters and try to get as many kills as possible before you get shot down. You can always do that, you know. Um, you can use the Mi-24A, for example, with the S5 and with the Mi-24, uh, Mi uh, the Mi-24P, you can use the S8s, as you see, so which are medium rockets. And for the heavy rockets, 
uh, anything beyond pass um, the the uh, 40 kilos so I would probably use something with the S13 you can always try to use the S13 in the MI-28 as you see very good rocket one of the best ones in the game very easy 70 kilos or even the S24s um, obviously in stuff like the MiG-21s uh, anything like that you can even in low tiers like this you can use the F-13 for example and use the S-24 so pretty good very easy and fun actually challenge <laughs> history of military equipment destroy 10 players vehicles using seven different ranks so this you have to just fly or you know, drive um, various types of ranks of tanks and stuff like that, as you see. So pretty cool, pretty fun. <laughs> so rank 1, get 10 kills. Rank 2, rank, get 10 kills. Rank 3, rank 4, rank 5, rank 6, rank 7. Once you get everything, you will be able to complete everything in here. And then you get automatically the last one successful test when you get all of them, okay? So... Yeah, very easy one, to be honest. This is one of the easiest ones that I've seen in a while. There's just one in, in, in naval battles, and it is just very, very easy. As you as I say, always uh, the battle pass is worth it if you play a lot of the game. Uh, the vehicles, I don't know, but just because of the money and stuff like that that you can get. And you can sell these vehicles for a lot of money later as well. Uh, as you see, the vehicles are premium. So it is pretty fun to have that uh, helping you actually grind as well. Uh, especially in a vehicle like this, rank 3, you can um, research until rank 4 with a lot of bonuses. So yeah, if you want uh, some premium, yeah, always nice to have that. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Kind of, a, I don't know if it's going to be useful and it's kind of a test anyway to see if people like to see this type of uh, guide, you know, helping a little bit. And I see you guys on the next one. I hope you enjoyed. Bye, guys.